Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm going to tell you a story that actually happened to me. I went to a government office. Hi, I'm Mary, and I work for the AEP. If you have any questions or feedback related to us, you can come to this office to ask me directly. Your feedback is important to us. Good morning. I'm Alex. How are you doing? I'm good. Today's weather looks good, eh? Yes. No snow yet. Actually, I saw a moose on my way here. Hey. Lucky you. I have questions. Who can I ask? You can ask me. I'm Mary. What can I help you with this morning? When I was driving through Black Diamond, I came across a small gas station. By the way, why is it called Black Diamond? In the past, coal was called Black Diamond, and there were some coal deposits near the original town site. I see. What was my question? Right, I came across a small gas station. Good morning, sir. This pump's nozzle looks much bigger than the others I saw in other gas stations. Oh, this was fire engine hose's nozzle. So, you refitted your pump with a much larger nozzle. Sure, why not? Looks, this one has larger opening, so I can fill gas tanks much quicker. Young man, you have no idea how sluggish the economy is. Actually, I just graduated from the EVT program at SAIT. I thought that this might be illegal, am I right? Yes. Actually, in this case, a ticket can likely be issued, because the flow rate is likely too high. If I remember correctly, that is under the Canadian Environmental Protection Act. Yes, CEPA was created for pollution prevention and the protection of the environment and human health. The maximum penalty that can be issued come is one million or three years in prison, or both. Tickets are can be given for offenses under CEPA, where there is minimal or no threat to the environment or human life of health. Where an offense is designated as ticketable, enforcement officers will always issue a ticket. How do you know that the substance is actually considered toxic under CEPA? Well, if you take a look at Schedule 1 under CEPA, Gasoline contains toxic substances such as benzene. Actually, there are also some other regulations related with gas station, if you were interested. Oh, if you don't mind, could you please tell me what a regulation is, since I sometimes slept in my environmental law course. Ha ha ha. Regulations are a form of law that have binding legal effects and usually state rules that apply generally. So, where are regulations proposed under CEPA published? Good question. It is published by the Minister in Part 1 of the Canada Gazette, Canada's official parliamentary journal. What is considered a regulation under CEPA? Let me think. Actually, there are a wide range of regulation designated under CEPA covering different types of activities, chemicals, and emissions such as benzene and gasoline regulations, gasoline and gasoline blend dispensing flow rate regulations. The one you just mentioned, what is it all about? It prohibits retailers and wholesale purchaser consumers of benzene containing gasoline and gasoline blends from using, or offering for use, any nozzle to dispense those fuels into on-road vehicles if the flow rate from the nozzle exceeds 38 liters per minute. Does the motor vehicle safety regulation belong within the CEPA? Yes, that was passed under the Motor Vehicle Safety Act that controls vehicle emissions remains in effect under CEPA. I'm sorry to ask you so many questions. It's okay. Thank you for keeping me busy. Actually, I have one more question. Shoot. What recourse does the government of a foreign country have if the government believes it would be negatively impacted by the new regulation? I am not really sure, but under certain trade agreements like NAFTA, foreign companies can sue Canadian government if they feel that the increased regulations hurt their businesses. Thank you so much for your diamond answers. I am going to pass Black Diamond again. This time, I will tell him what he did wrong. Hopefully. He will accept it and change back the nozzle to the right size.